do you feel like that pain fueled you to become better? Did you go through a depression period? Actually, there was there was there was a lot of guilt. Right. While simultaneously being grateful that I still had my son, and that led to more guilt. You know, you don't want to be the person that says, "Oh, but my baby's okay. Thank God it wasn't my baby," because that was somebody else's baby. Right. And I, it was. The whole thing was so hard. It was so conflicting, and you know, my my heart still goes out to her. Are, um, are y'all still in concert? Y'all um, talking around there? We don't talk anymore. Uh, she had deleted me off of Facebook for several years, and I think it was because our our babies look so much alike. I think she had a hard time watching my son grow up. Okay, and I I can too completely. Um, we did connect back on Facebook, but we don't really talk. Um, and that's okay. Uh, if she wants to talk, I'm open to a conversation. If she wants to see my son, I am definitely open to that too. Because uh, I get it. Right. But. Your, your two sons, they're a year apart? Year and a half. Year and a half. Yeah. So after you had the, the Seth, the, the young. Evan's the Evan, oldest. Evan, Evan's the oldest. Yes. Then when did Seth come into the picture? Um, I got into a relationship with his dad. His dad had just gotten out of a relationship, and he and I uh, started seeing each other. And then that ended, and it ended because he got back with the ex, and we overlapped. And I don't, I don't play that one at a time. But it's, it's fine. No hard feelings with that. That you do what you do. Well, a week later, I found out I was pregnant, and I did some investigating, and they had. You need birth control. Right? <laughs> you need birth control. You need to come out with your own mind or um, maybe like <laughs> take it to the court. Y'all like, fail. But. Yeah. We said I, it was so hard because I had this baby growing inside of me that I felt no connection to. I was terrified. Um, my son was 11 months old and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I can barely take care of him and I've got this other one coming. And there was... There, there, I felt no bond with this child growing inside of me. And I was actually, I had all but decided on adoption. And then Seth was born prematurely. And this baby I had no bond with, you know, suddenly there's this emergency C-section and I'm waking up out of anesthesia screaming for my baby. And everybody's telling me he's in the NICU, he's going to be okay, so on and so forth. And I thought they were lying. I thought my baby had died. And I would not calm down until they wheeled me to my baby. They wheeled me straight from recovery to him. And as soon as I looked at him, I knew I couldn't live without him. It was one of those bonding experiences. It, that's, you know, with my oldest, I expected that love at first sight thing and our bond really had to grow. But with my youngest, it was truly love at first sight. Without a doubt. Okay, that that's it's good to know that you, you were there for your baby. You know? Oh, of course. It's not even good to know. It's just because you have so many mothers now that I guess you know men get so much shit on from the media, mm -hmm. social media, whatever. And then, like, oh, we, but women don't want girlfriends of other girlfriends don't want to talk about how their female friends ain't shit. You know? What yeah. I mean? So it's good to see that you have, especially with all your health. Yeah. Issues that you had. Now, during these times when you were pregnant, was your health okay, or did um, you go through some things? I, I did go through a lot of things. Uh, basically, if it could go wrong in a pregnancy, it did. Uh, again, so you're high I, risk. I, I had this undiagnosed heart issue, and when you're pregnant, your heart works a lot harder. Yeah. So I, with both kids, I would have these weird dizzy spells where I felt like the blood was draining out of my head, and I nearly pass out. Um, so, I mean, there were health problems. I had gestational diabetes. Um, I had a lot of pain throughout both pregnancies. Uh, I was not built for having babies. Uh, both of my kids came early. Uh, Seth came early enough that he actually had issues breathing. Um, had to have, you know, a CPAP for a long time. I didn't get to hold him until he was four days old. So. There, there were health issues, but at the time, nothing was diagnosed, and 
I, I kept being told by everybody around me to toughen up. Pregnancy is hard. And so I That's had that in my head. Advice. I had that in my head that pregnancy is hard and I'm just being a wuss. You know, no, I, I, I didn't this. find out that something was actually wrong until much, much later. 